Quick video recap on what I was doing today. So I was just getting caught up in some chop today. I had a couple trades that were relatively insignificant that did not work out. Uh, I got long in this area right through here, took this high uh, and long into a double top. There was a fake out breakout or a liquidity trap uh, that then immediately got sold off. I covered that position and I was mentioning that there was a small head and shoulders pattern right through there that I was gonna get short if this neckline uh, broke out, also broke out of that trend line uh, support level after that double top. Everything here for short was priming, um, but at this particular juncture, I had too many trades on, uh, on the spider, and I wasn't sure that I wanted to trade anymore, and look what happened. So my thesis on that short was absolutely correct, and price action cratered, uh, and it lost value all the way from that neckline uh, at 38.17 down to 38.02. Uh, oh one. So you're talking about 15, 16 points of value, uh, which you're getting lost there, and about 15 and 16 points of value. Remember, uh, on the S&P futures, the ES, you're seeing 50 bucks for every one point of movement, okay? So if you're looking at, um, at 16 and 17, 18, 19, 20 points of movement uh, in any one direction on a $50 contract, I mean, you're doing all right. Now check this out. I want you to pay attention to this line uh, and this green line right down through here. What they represent are yesterday's high and yesterday's low. So price action is actually technically range bound. And what I was looking for was that long trade. Now long trade got uh, caught in that liquidity trap and I caution traders about this. And look what happened today. After I got out and I sold off at a short position or sold off at a small profit rather, Price action, <coughs> excuse me, did set up for a nice short, and I talked about these prior levels where price action could run to, which it did, and then after that, price action broke long, breaking 38.22 up and towards trading right now at 38.56. Again, I think we're talking about 34 points now of uh, potential movement. X that by $50 a contract. I typically trade anywhere from 10 to 20 contracts at a time, so if you do the quick math, that could have been a fucking huge trade that I missed out because of this prior stuff that was going on. Big lesson here, and this is a good one for beginners, make sure that when you're day trading, you take a look at yesterday's high and low range of where price action printed for the day. The absolute high, the absolute low. Mark those two levels off and then make a trade based on what happens the following day on that particular high and low. So for example, again, these two green lines represent yesterday's high and low, and the thesis is very, very simple. When price action breaks that long level, I want it to get long, or before that, I've got an entry strategy that's a little bit more aggressive. Um, and then when price action uh, hits this downwards level, and it's looking like it's going to short, you already want to be positioned in, so if you hit the bid right, you can see the price action absolutely mashes those levels. So yesterday's high, yesterday's low, price action squeezed up to the top into that range, and then absolutely fired off from there, Huge, huge, huge trade. I missed it, uh, and that's because I had to shut it down after a couple trades that weren't necessarily working out in my favor. So that's today's review. Uh, if you wanna see some of these trades live, there's going to be a link in this description box below uh, that'll take you over to our uh, newsroom, the J. Lewis Trading Newsroom, and that is where I am posting links to live webinars that we host uh, at six o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Wednesdays. That link is also gonna take you into the newsroom where you're gonna be able to see some of my live trades being done and where I'm going to be showing all of the viewers in that, uh, in that room the actual trading strategy that I use long, short, every single day. So go ahead and click that link below and uh, it's totally free to get in. Very educational, give you some insight as to how a professional trader trades. And uh, if you have any questions on the back end, feel free to email me, julian at jlustrading.com.